how to create your bucket list and really how to make those things come true this morning with the author of The Beauty Blueprint. She's a lifestyle coach, a beauty expert, and this is something that she has even done in her own life, trying to, I guess it's all about making your own dreams come true. Michelle Phillips, it's good to have you here. Thanks for having me. I love this picture. That's a great example of how you can really create whatever it is you want. Do you believe in that too, that is true, the sort of that power of positive thinking and wanting something so badly enough when you visualize it, it somehow can come true? And I thought, how am I ever going to go to Bora Bora? Yeah. It's so expensive. I'm yeah. never going to be able to get there and it happens. It does it does happen and I do believe in that. I do feel that, you know, first of all, identifying what it is that you really want to do and your bucket list could be as simple as wanting to take a class in something mm -hmm. you've always wanted to do. It doesn't have to be traveling across mm -hmm. the world, but for many of us, that is on our bucket list. So, it's really important that we sit down and, and take a look at what it is that we've always wanted to do even if we're not doing it because some of the things you can start doing today and mm -hmm. it can really change your life. What do you think holds people back from already living that life, especially if it's not an extravagant trip like Bora Bora or, or Italy? I think primarily, I think people think that it's selfish or guilty, like what you said. They feel guilty for doing it because, for example, you're having a family and for you to maybe say Rome, you might think in the back of your mind, but how am I going to do that with right. a family? So, you know, Rome might not be in the picture right now, but it could be a couple years from now that an opportunity might come up or you might say, hey, let's just take that trip. And when we take the steps to really do the things that we love, we find that that pleasure and that joy and that happiness really fulfills our lives in so many ways and it spills over in our relationships, our jobs, everything in our lives because we, we're happier. When we put together the bucket list, <laughs> how realistic does it have to be? Because we always think it's like put anything in the world that you'd yeah. want to do. I, I was reading an article online the other day about this very topic and it said a lot of people would love to be able to play catch with the President of the United States. Mm. That one would be could be a tough one to make come true. So right. how do you create that list with things that are realistic but also don't seem within reach. I would not worry about being realistic because what happens is a lot of times we get attached to an outcome and we might think, okay, I want to play catch with the President of the United States, but maybe an opportunity would come up that you could be opening, a, you know, playing with a, a famous ball player mm -hmm. and something could happen along that line of what you yeah. want. So it's really about letting yourself be open to any possibility because that's when you, you actually create Create that awareness of what you want rather than thinking, oh my gosh, I'm so limited in what I can do, so I'm just going to stay here and just kind of feel like, oh, I'm kind of stuck, I can't do anything. It's still good to dream. Exactly. No matter how old That's you are. That's the point. Exactly. Well, it, it really is. And it in this whole, difference. along the lines of you're saying it's really good to dream and don't limit yourself, what about when you're putting that list together and you think, oh, but this is going to cost a lot of money and I don't have the funds to do that. Should that hold you back from yeah. writing down what you're dream might be? No, I don't think so. I mean, for example, look at the trip that you ended up being able to take through work. Mm -hmm. You never know when opportunities are going to come by, but if you don't have that on your radar, you're not going to see them when they come up. And it might not be a trip to Bora Bora, but maybe it's a trip to Key West, and that's pretty darn close. Oh, <laughs> so I Here I come. So, you know, I really feel that most of us, we definitely, we think of all the things that we should be doing instead of the things we could be doing. And just because we have busy lives doesn't mean that we're not able to live our dreams and have fun and it could be as simple as taking a Zumba class twice a week because somebody wants to get back into dancing. You believe in vision boards, yes. creating a vision board. Mm -hmm. So explain exactly what that is. A vision board is something that um, you can put visual pictures and phrases and things. Here we go. We have a, an example here on a poster board. And I love to do this exercise with my clients because we go through pictures of magazines and things come up for them that did, they didn't even really feel that were inside of them until they went through the process. For example, maybe health and fitness is really important to them and they start picking out pictures of health and fitness and putting them on the board or maybe travel or maybe creating a calm, peaceful home, a more serene home, a more relaxed place and so this gives you an opportunity to really see what's in your heart mm -hmm. and what you desire and when you put it out in front of you and you say oh wow this is what I really want then it inspires you every day to be motivated to do that and this is a powerful tool with kids too I love doing this with my kids they are, have are we often ones. our own biggest roadblock when it comes yeah. to accomplishing our yeah. hopes and dreams and goals 
Absolutely. And we in come what up way? with excuses mm -hmm. of why we can't do things instead of allowing ourselves the opportunity to do things. And I think we are so busy in our everyday lives that we don't think that stopping and taking time for us is a good thing. We think of it as a selfish thing. But when we do put ourselves on our to-do list and we do allow ourselves to take time out for ourselves to explore what we, what we want to do and then the action steps to create them, we will find that your, your life will open up in such beautiful ways. And to me, as a beauty expert and a life coach, that's what I think true beauty is because I've watched people lose weight, build better relationships, um, have better careers because they're starting to fulfill themselves because we can only control one thing and that's us, ourselves. And, and especially with that vision board, at least in my mind, see, that's a daily reminder. I'm yeah. more visual. I relate more visual with photos and stuff. So I think a lot of people out there, that could be a daily reminder of this is what I want to do. This is eventually, if I can accomplish a quarter of what's on this board, then I'm happy. Exactly, especially on frustrating days. Take a look at the vision board and I give you a whole new perspective. And my husband has one too. He really likes that. Do you also believe that it's important to surround yourself with a lot of positive people and positive thinkers? Because yeah. we can have a lot of negativity in our life and can that sometimes mm -hmm. prohibit us from accomplishing um, good things for ourselves? Yes, if you have a lot of negativity around you, you definitely don't want to share with those people your dreams because mm -hmm. they might squash them and then you get def feel yeah. defeated. But as we start to focus on the positive, it's interesting to see how people around us that are really negative will begin to fall away because we won't participate mm -hmm. in that anymore. But yeah, I call it what's mirroring you. You know, look at who, you, where you are and then who's surrounding you. And if there's a lot of negativity, look and see where that is within you. Because yeah. maybe you are really feeling negative too. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we tend to surround ourselves with who we are. So. All good advice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, make your list <laughs> and follow them. And make, do it. Yeah, just do it. Maybe at least go through one of them this year. All right, Michelle Phillips, it's Thank really you. great to have you here. That's great. Um, the book is called The Beauty Blueprint, and you should definitely pick it up. It's a nice size, you can travel with it doesn't take up a lot of room, keep it at your desk at work. <laughs> I feel like going to Key West right That's now. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Put it on your list. Go on a trip. there, go on. <laughs> Before the baby comes. Stay with us, we'll be back with more of Good Company. We're talking about in-law etiquette today. And we're gonna help you declutter that crazy life of yours. We have that much more coming up on Good Company today.